Something? Yeah. <laughs> Don't say anything about this. That's right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything bad about me. I'll beat you up and <laughs> see you at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to just kind of go through that just once and we'll see how it comes out. <clears throat> One lesson from that. You mean, well, why you read that? Well, why, don't you, why don't you put it on me and I'll explain what we're, what we're doing here and then we'll roll it back. Okay, we're just uh, making a uh, trial run here to see how this camera works. Uh, what we have is uh, Charlie Toybo and his wife, and uh, Charlie's going to go through uh, a Kiowa language lesson, which is uh, what he's doing for the CETA program right now. Uh, he's tape recording the Kiowa language and also writing it, uh, trying to produce a system whereby the Kiowa language could be written and tape recorded and preserved in that fashion. So uh, maybe you can tell us about those uh, words, those reference words, and the sounds of the language as you have analyzed it. This is a division of the Indian and Native American programs. Pasita program. This is a Kiowa language class. My name is Charles Toybo. This has been prepared for classes in the year 1976. And we are now adopting a combination of two or three letters to make one letter in spelling of a Kiowa word. This combining of letters is an attempt to prevent incorrect pronunciation which may be made by a student. It is imperative that certain sounds should never be made in pronouncing of Kiowa words. We are using the English alphabet, <coughs> but we are adopting just for this class only a symbol to some of the alphabets. Take the letter B and the letter D and the letter G and letter H, I and K, P, S, and T. The B, in the B letter category, we are using the three letter symbol, B, P, H. We are using a reference word. B, B P H, apostrophe, N, E E, B. The definition would be eat. Then we have another example in the same with the same symbol B P H, E Y E. That's some pie. That's a word, in Kiowa words, the definitions mean the, the sun. And we have BN, apostrophe EE, -E, B da. Definition is old people. Then we have this in the D, the alphabet D. DT is a double symbol. DT apostrophe NIGH would be pronounced TA. TA, the definition is the star. We have likewise in the letter G, GK. GK apostrophe A U O Y. G W is pronounced Goegu. That means the Kiowa tribe. The word Kiowa is a foreign word to the Kiowas, to the Goegu. 
The real name for that is Koi Gu. We are trying to spell it. In order to bring the word Koi, the beginning sound, we are using this GK apostrophe. A U O Y. Koi Gu. We also have using GK N apostrophe A U. The pronunciation is Gaugia. A gift is a definition. Same letter combination also Ga with one syllable means a goose in Kiowa language. We go to the letter HN apostrophe AY GYAH Hang Definition is toys. Another example would be H N apostrophe A W N A Y Hon Na Definition is no. We also have in the letter H I H apostrophe H A W. It's a two word, two syllable aha. A lot of the Kiowa words have this I-H. We are u adopting that because we cannot spell it A-H or O-H. It has to be I-H in, in order to bring out the correct sound. Aha. Then we have <coughs> in the K alphabet three letter symbol K-C-H apostrophe E-E. -E. Is one syllable. E. E means firewood, the definition. Then we have the K in apostrophe A U. Con. Con would definition would be name. Then we have in the alphabet P, we are using a three letter symbol. P B H apostrophe A W all all definition is moon we have also in the alphabet S S N apostrophe I N E son definition is child then we have T S apostrophe O L E soul Soha, that's the way, is the definition. Then we're also using in the alphabet T, we are using the symbol TD apostrophe INE. I is a pronunciation. TD brings in the sound I. I definition is white. In the same letter TN apostrophe OH. Home. Definition is water. T S H apostrophe A Y. Say. Definition would be short. Another example. T S H apostrophe O Y. So means definition is coffee. Then we have another in the same alphabet T. Another three letters. Symbol T C H apostrophe O H will be pronounced O. Definition is rock. Then we have in the same alphabet T S N apostrophe A I N. It's one syllable word. Same definition is mud. Now this the symbols and the definitions as a Kawa speaker you need to know the pronunciation of this definition so you can go back to the reference word like for example if you know and mastered the pronunciation of the moon if you mastered learned the pronunciation then you would come you would use a symbol 
in order to write it or read it, it has to come in PBH symbol. All. All. Like. Spot. There need to be popping of the, the sound. All. It's somewhat uh, similar to the symbol BPH, which seems to not seems to have a softer sound, not like the popping sound in the moon uh, definition, but BPH by. It's not P nor nor B. The sound B. P and H has to come out, and it'll come out in this manner. Pi, B P H E Y E. The reference word would be sun, S U N, sun. That's pi. So if you run across a reading or writing that have these sounds, you will need to go back to your reference word in order to find the correct sound.